Hello students, welcome to IntelliLearn. This video is specially to tell you about grade 8 foundation mathematics syllabus. Now in this syllabus, firstly we will be covering the whole concepts along with the exercises in 80 plus hours live interactive classes. Now in these interactive classes, we will be having periodic tests. Now these periodic tests will have video solutions immediately after the tests. Yes. Now these tests will be checked on the syllabus which is already taught. Now this foundation course has these number of topics to be covered in class 8. Now when you go through these topics, you must be thinking these are the topics of CBSE class 8 and these are the topics of foundation course. There are a few topics which are not there in CBSE but will be as a new topic in the foundation syllabus. So you must be thinking this will be the syllabus of CBSE, I have to study this and then some extra, isn't it? But this is the only thing which we want to tell you that this syllabus will be easily covered along with the CBSE syllabus. You must be thinking how is that possible because we have so many extra topics like logarithms, trigonometry, binomial theorem. We have so many extra topics. Now let me tell you that we will be covering the CBSE syllabus concepts definitely that is for sure. Now using these concepts we will be moving to the foundation syllabus. Yes, now there are so many topics, conceptual topics which are definitely used in all the topics which is given in foundation course. Now for example, let me tell you one thing, yes, in kindergarten level you learn what is sun about, you learn only two things that is the sun is round and you color it red in color or orange in color, isn't it? But the same thing, sun, when you go to a little higher classes, what do you learn? You learn that the sun is a red ball of fire and the rays are slanting in the morning and evening and direct at noon. That means what do you see? That the topic is sun. Yes, we are telling it is round. We are not telling it is not round or it is not red in color. All right, we are telling the same. Now this is the concept of CBSE, we have, we are telling this concept and when we come to the foundation course which you learn at a higher classes, yes, you will learn at higher classes but those topics we are going to cover in this foundation syllabus in earlier classes that is class 8. So what is the benefit you must be thinking, why should I do this? so many new different topics which I can learn in the higher classes. But let me tell you the most beneficial thing of course it is challenging learning new topics in earlier classes. It is challenging but let me tell you this challenge when you learn in these live classes that is conceptually step by step with reasoning with analytical and logical reasoning both. Yes, and everything with an answer with a reason, alright. Then you will know that yes, I can easily cover this syllabus along with this, definitely. Yes, because the concepts which are done in this are also used in this. I will not say they are same or with you are learning only that much. They will be used in this and a little more. Yes, now we are teaching you concepts that is told. Now this concept is level wise. We won't be telling you at a time. The level wise, the level 1 will be absolutely concepts. Then we go to level 2 where a little more understanding is required. Then to level 3, then to level 4 where you have complex questions. 
and though they are complex, though they are simple, everything will be explained very nicely, step by step with video solutions. All right. So now you are thinking so many topics here and here, isn't it? Now these all will be done. Of course, this is learning based. This is problem solving skill based. Yes. So when you are getting challenged with these topics, you are also rewarded. How? That you are learning. Yes. The subjects which are you, you should learn in the higher classes. You are learning them in the lower classes. So when you go to higher classes, you can only concentrate on the problem solving skills. And finally, children, this is a world of competition. Yes. And this foundation course will give you the main basic foundation. Yes. The basic thing to go about the problem solving skills and that too within the limited less period of time. All right. So you will be used to these competitive questions. So when you are used to these competitive questions, you can solve it easily. And now you can find it very easy along with the syllabus, isn't it? So this CBSE is learning centric, but this foundation course is learning centric also, problem solving centric too. All right. So you are challenged. Of course, you are also rewarded, which you need at the end. All right. So now let us move on to the syllabus and let me tell you about the syllabus in detail, how the topics are related to each other. All right. Suppose I take linear equation in one variable and I take the topic here, quadratic equations. All right. Now linear equations in one variable degree 1 and similarly quadratic equations degree 2 this is having one variable that is having two variables all right now the method to solve because of two variables there will be a formula the method to solve is same yes we solve for x if it is having one variable we solve for x and y both if it is having two variables all right so, like that, if we have suppose rational numbers, I take rational numbers. Now, in rational numbers, we are talking about the concept, what it is and it is in a fraction form where numerator is less than denominator. The same thing we are learning about the rational numbers in the number system, in the foundation course. All right. We are learning the same thing. But here we are learning with mathematical operations, simple mathematical operations. When we go to the foundation course, of course we will do that mathematical operations, but with a few more complex questions with logical reasoning and analytical reasoning. We will do the same. The procedure, the concept of rational numbers will be the same, but with more complex questions. So, some questions will be based on this concept and then the complex level questions come. So, this is the base. So, you are also doing this and then you are going to the foundation course with the base of this rational numbers. Now, here is a topic extra called thirds. All right. Now, we have studied rational numbers. Thirds is nothing but irrational numbers. It has been given a name called thirds in mathematics. But actually, they are irrational numbers. All right. Yes, root over numbers. They are thirds. All right. Now, suppose we take a topic called mensuration. Now, you have been studying about squares rectangles, circles in your earlier classes. Of course, you will be studying in class 8 also. The same thing, the topic will be the same. But when we go to the foundation course, all right, when we go there, the 
topics which we are studying here the square and the rectangle will be merged and then you are asked to solve here it is solved individually here they are merged and then you have to solve them taking the two figures or three figures at a time that is the only difference and of course when you are merging the formulas will be little complex that is only thing that is the only difference which is seen so if you are knowing these concepts it is not of a much difficulty level when you go on to do the foundation course all right so the topics will be the same like we have exponents and powers exponents and powers or you call it as indices yes we learn about simple powers the simple laws of exponents the simple indices isn't it but when we go to the foundation course the, those indices they are not taken as a topic over here all right but they are used in trigonometry they are used in arithmetic they are used in number system they are also used in polynomials so it is not taken as a topic the indices as a topic will never be taken but they are very well used in different topics so if you know to solve these then only you are going to solve these questions so this is the base for this so if you are learning here exponents and powers the indices you are able to solve the sums of so many topics yes further you have to solve it it is not that it is over but you have started the sum you have done it how it should be done so topic wise we are able to tell you like factorization factorization is simple bringing it to the lowest terms that is you are factorizing suppose it is a quadratic polynomial you are factorizing it into a linear polynomial your aim is to bring it into a linear polynomial now this factorization is also used in quadratic equations it is also used and sometimes it is used in straight lines also in coordinate geometry also all right so like that whichever topic you select in this cbsc the base is here we will be definitely telling you the concepts about this everything and then with these concepts we will be moving to the foundation syllabus with new topics where this topics will be there but just as a base and then we will move on to the new topics with new complex questions is it clear so this way you will be doing the cbsc work also you will be doing the concepts of cbsc and the sums of cbsc of course then the challenge comes where you will be getting the questions which are complex but step by step and so it is always rewarding to you isn't it yes you are learning new no doubt there are new topics but the base is coming from the cbsc isn't it so we are doing this and along with the foundation syllabus so you are both benefiting and rewarding so this is how we the topic wise explanation is done in the foundation course all right okay